Chapter 11 Soil Erosion and Conservation Learning Objectives 1. The Role of Soil in Supporting Life 2. The Process of Soil Formation 3. Soil Erosion 4. Soil Conservation 5. Soil Pollution Let me answer. Soil conservation is the practice of minimizing soil loose while maximizing agriculture production. So just a few ways to soil conservation. Soil Erosion Erosion by wind, erosion by water, erosion by human activities. Soil The soil is the topmost layer of the earth crust. It consists of a mixture of minute particles of rocks, minerals, dust and remains of dead plants and animals. It also contains air and water. Soil is very useful for all living things. In fact, life on land depends on soil. It supports the growth of plants. We all are dependent on plants for our basic needs like food, clothing and shelter. Soil is also used the home for many organisms like bacteria, fungi, worms and insects. Formation of soil The formation of soil happened over a very long period of time. The process by which soil formation takes place is called weathering. Weathering is a very slow and gradual process during the which parent rock breaks down into fine particles. The large rock are initially broken down into small pieces by natural events like earthquakes. The process of weathering is carried further by the other agents like temperature changes, frost, water, wind and living organisms. It takes 200 to 400 years for the formation of just 1 cm of topsoil. Soil is composed of three layers. The uppermost layer of soil is called the topsoil. It is dark in color as it is rich in humus. It is the most fertile layer. Humus is formed by the dead and decaying parts of plants and animals. Just below the topsoil is a light colored layer called the subsoil. It contains less humus. Below the subsoil, there is a layer of lumps of parent rock. Below, this is non-porous, unweathered bedrock. Soil Erosion Soil erosion takes place when the uppermost layer of the soil gets carried away by natural agents like wind, rains and floods. This carrying away of the topsoil from one place to another by natural agents is called soil erosion. Deforestation is the major cause of soil erosion. When the fertile topsoil is eroded, the less fertile subsoil comes to the surface which leads to a fall in crop production. Gradually, the land loses its fertility and becomes barren. Activities like deforestation and overgazing by animals contribute towards soil erosion. Erosion by wind Topsoil is easily carried away by strong winds. Erosion due to wind is the greatest in areas where there is less vegetation. Plantation restricts soil erosion by wind. Erosion by water Heavy rain or running water washes away the topsoil causing soil erosion. Heavy soil erosion occurs in hilly areas because river water flows faster on the slopes and washes away the fertile soil. On reaching the plains, the river slows down its flow and the soil thus carried its deposit at the bottom of the river. This is called salting. If the erosion in the hilly areas continues for a longer time, the amount of soil spread in the plains over the years will be used. This can be make the river changes its course. Soil erosion causes water pollution. It can also lead to landslides. A landslide is moving to loose rocks down a slope of a hill or mountain. This results in the soil of life and property. Erosion due to human activities. We need wood for many purposes. To meet the demand of wood, man has been cutting down trees in the forest. The cutting down of all the trees in an area is called deforestation. It is the major cause of soil erosion. When trees are cut down, soil becomes loose and is easily carried away. Overgazing by animals in a particular area makes the land barren. This too results in soil erosion. Pluffing of farmland also loosens the soil. Wind or water can easily carry this loosened soil away. Sometimes soil is left bare for a long time after harvesting. This unprotected soil can be easily blown away. Soil Conservation Soil erosion reduces the soil fertility. Therefore, it is important to protect the topsoil from erosion. 
Conservation means the steps taken to protect our natural environment. The erosion of soil from erosion is called soil conservation. Different methods adopted to protect the soil from erosion are as follows. Planting trees or afforestation. Afforestation is an effective method to prevent soil erosion. Roots of the plant hold the soil particles together and thus protect the soil from being carried away by wind or water. Trees, bushes, grasses and hedges along the boundaries of farmland shield at the top soil and prevent soil erosion. Terrace Farming On hill slopes, farming is done by cutting steps in terrace to reduce soil erosion. This reduces the speed of water with which the soil flows downhill. By growing grass, when the land is not being used for farming, it is good to grow grass or some other creepers on it. The grass has spreading roots. It covers the topsoil and holds it firmly. Constructing dams and embankments. During a flood, running water washes away a large part of the topsoil. Dams and embankments are built on rivers to check soil erosion by floods. Soil Pollution Soil pollution is caused due to a number of human activities. The main cause of soil pollution is dumping of solid non-biodegradable wastes on land. The polluted land becomes less fertile. Excessive use of pesticides and chemical fertilizers by farmers also pollutes the soil. The soil pollution ultimately makes the land barren. Prevention of soil pollution plant grass and ground cover in huge expensive gardens and fields. Never leave embankments bare and exposed. Adopt a small piece of land outside your property as your own for plantation and cleanliness. Build a retaining wall or fence around your bare property. Proper solid waste management should be done. Laws should be created for prevention of soil pollution. Facts to know, it has been estimated that total global soil erosion costs agriculture many hundreds of billions of US dollars every year. Supporting organic farming by purchasing organic foods and encouraging your local retailer to stock organic products can help in conservation. Let's recall. 1. Soil is formed by breaking up of rocks into small particles. This is called weathering. 2. Soil consists of three layers, topsoil, subsoil and bedrock. 3. The process of carrying away of topsoil from one place to another by wind, rain or flowing water is called soil erosion. 4. Deforestation, pluffing and overgazing by animals increase soil erosion. 5. Soil can be conserved by afforestation, growing trees and grasses terrace farming on hills, slope and by constructing dams across the rivers. 6. Various human activities cause soil pollution. Word Power Afforestation The conversion of land into forest, especially for commercial use. Barren, too poor to produce any vegetation. Earthquake A sudden and violent shaking of the ground. Embankments a structure of earth raised to prevent water from overflowing. Humus, the organic component of soil. Overgrazing, grazed grassland so heavily that the vegetation is damaged and the ground became liable to erosion. Pluffing, turn up earth with the flow. Vegetation, a act or process of growing plants. Train your brain. Cross curriculum connect. 1. Answer the following questions in short. A. Define the following in one line. 1. Weathering. 2. Topsoil. 3. Soil erosion. 4. Deforestation. 5. Soil conservation. 2. Fill in the blanks. A. Breaking up of dash into tiny pieces from soils. B. Carrying away of the topsoil by wind, rain or flowing water is called dash. C. Soil erosion due to wind is greatest in areas where there is less dash. D. On hill slopes, soil erosion is prevented by dash. E. Excessive use of dash and dash in fields causes soil pollution. 3. Answer the following questions. A. What is weathering of rocks? How do rocks break and wear away? D. What is soil erosion? Name the factor that causes soil erosion. C. Name the different layers of soil. D. What is soil conservation? 
in what ways can soil be conserved e how is soil polluted four pick the right and cross the wrong statements a deforestation causes soil erosion b the protection of soil against soil erosion is called weathering c soil erosion increases fertility of the soil d wind does not cause soil erosion e cutting down of trees increases soil erosion 5 multiple choice questions a soil erosion can be controlled by dash 1 over grazing 2 keeping the land barren 3 dumping the waste materials for growing grass b the soil erosion dash 1 increases the fertility of the soil 2 reduces the fertility of the soil 3 may increase or decrease the fertility 4 does not affect the fertility of the soil c the removal of the top soil by water or wind is called dash 1 soil erosion to terrace farming 3 silting 4 soil conservation d which statement is not true 1 soil erosion does not cause water pollution 2 deforestation is the major cause of soil erosion 3 soil erosion reduces soil fertility 4 planting trees or afforestation is an effective method to prevent soil erosion 6 give one word for each one of the following a the uppermost layer of the soil is called dash b the layer of soil with lumps of rocks is called dash c planting trees in large number is known as dash d farming on hill slopes is called dash e settling of soil at the bottom of rivers is called dash 7 match the columns column a a afforestation b soil erosion c humus d deforestation e soil formation column b one fertile two weathering three filling trees four low soil fertility five planting tree activity time Examine carefully some soil samples taken from different places and list your observation in the table given below. Serial number, soil source, color, presence of living organism, presence of dead and decaying organism. One garden soil, two roadside soil, three farmland soil. Hots one while grazing by animals on the same land for a long time should not be allowed. Two. How can you present soil erosion in your immediate surroundings? Project time. One. Ask your parents to get some saplings from a nursery. Plant them in your garden or in a park near your home. Water these plants regularly and see them grow. You can also put your name on a cardboard and place it near your plant. Take care of the plant just as plants take care of you.